Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus and it will be from the 25th to the 31st of January 2021. So let's get straight into your reading Capricorn and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what do we have for Capricorn please? Angel Spirits Guides, what is the message for the week? Capricorn needs to hear the most, thank you, okay. So the card that's fallen out is the Five of Wands, Capricorn. Okay. So message for Capricorn, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides. What is the message that Capricorn needs to hear the most? Oh. Oh. We have Be Spontaneous. Can well be if there is some kind of impulsive or impulse that you have or feeling, you know, it's a fine line between spontaneity, you know, and trusting your intuition. You know, it might well be that kind of energy as well. Um, something that you want to be spontaneous towards. That is the message we have. So let's get straight into the next card. Angels, what is the message that Capricorn needs to hear, please? 25th to the 31st of January, 2021. Message for our lovely Capricorns, please. Thank you. We have Archangel Haniel, sensitivity. You are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor your honor yourself and your feelings. It's interesting that we have honor yourself and your feelings, especially with spontaneity, because it can be about trust your instincts, be spontaneous, act on an impulse, obviously not rashly, but it feels like if something feels the right thing to do, the kind of message is go for it this week. So I'm going to pull three cards this week, Capricorn. First card is the issue or challenge you face. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is the outcome. Should you take the advice? And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, so we have a bit of an impulsive energy with the fire energy there. Uh, we have the seven of coins and the three of Three of Wands. The star is advice from spirit. Absolutely beautiful. Interesting that that's come out. And we have the King of Wands. Jeremy, it's a Leo. Uh, could be the energy of. Can represent a person who embodies those qualities right now. Leadership, magnetism, success, power. Okay, so let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Capricorn, please. Angel Spirits Guides. It will be the 25th to the 31st of January 2021. Thank you. Okay, so we have the lovers. Two of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Bottom of the deck we have the Two of Pentacles. So I'm going to clarify this King of Wands before we get moving. Let's clarify this King of Wands. King of Swords. It feels like, I mean, two kings over each other. You know, when two kings appear, it can be one is you, the other, the other is a person in your life.
let's clarify this five of wands let's clarify this five of wands for capricorn please So I have the six of six of wands, which is a card of victory. Um, the five of wands can be a card of struggle, tension, conflict. In whatever situation you're involved in, I mean, it can also be where you're pitted against other people. It can be a card of competition really wanting something, going for something, taking action for something um, against other people. You know, it can be the card of competition, like I said. Regardless of what this represents here, Capricorn, he feels in this situation there is some victory. You know, you will be victorious. And it's interesting because if you are competing for something, it definitely feels in this situation you are gonna you are gonna get the gold. This is a card of success and achievement, and also recognition, public recognition, being recognised. So if there's something that you're going for this week, competitive wise, there's definitely this kind of energy of you will be victorious. That is definitely in the cards for some of you. Um, can also be about struggle. If you if you've been in a time of struggle, conflict. In whatever area, I mean, we've got the lovers here, could be in terms of relationship, something that's caused tension, struggle. There's definitely an energy of you'll come through the other side of this. Something to do with trusting, and it's sensitive to your own instincts, your own emotions here as well. I mean, it might well be for some of you, there is an energy of spontaneity here. Um, trusting your instincts, acting on impulse to do with the situation. I mean, that could be in whatever context here, but definitely in this situation, honor your, you're, you're particularly sensitive to how you need to take action. And that is what I'm definitely getting for you. The, We have the Lovers card of Gemini and the Lovers is to do with, it can be to do with love, romance, relationships. It can be choices in terms of the matters of the heart as well, love, romance, relationships. Um, it's a choice either in a relationship or in something that affects your relationship. And that's what you're taking stock of here. I mean, the Seven of Coins or seven of pentacles it can be to do with taking stock it could be in terms of the relationship itself and wanting to make some kind of choice or decision or it can be to do with maybe something affecting your relationship here it could be money career finances because uh, this is a card of frustration the fact that somebody is putting so much effort into bringing growth and success into their life and it's not quite happening it's a card of good things come to those that wait, but there is a need to, to take stock, be patient, keep going. Um, it's that kind of energy. Take stock of, of, if it's to do with a relationship, you've put a significant effort into this. And even in the path that you're choosing here, even in terms of what your, the success, the, the goal that you're wanting to manifest here, it might well be for some of you, there's definitely an energy of keep going because feels like you're on the right path. Some of you might be taking stock about a relationship and needing to make a decision or choice here. Some of you might be taking stock of, of the fact that something's not quite happening and there's, you're being tested, there's a level of patience that's needed and perseverance towards the end goal. But I definitely feel for some of you, the effort that you've been putting into something here, something good is coming your way. And you know, the three of wands is the beginnings of progress in a situation by the actions that you take. So this can be where you are taking action, you're doing something about something. Um, yeah, in whatever context here, Capricorn.
There's something good coming your way. You can see the ships are coming in. They're not quite in the harbour yet, but the actions that you've been taking, it feels like something good is coming. There's growth. There's progress. So there's definitely this kind of energy of acting with the facts of the situation uh, you've come so far on this journey and it definitely feels for some of you now you're beginning to see the reward of your effort and that's definitely what I'm getting and that's what I'm getting it is what I'm getting. The six of, of, of wands is a card of victory, recognition, getting the recognition that you deserve by the effort and, and energy that you've been putting into something. It, it, it's either something that's affected your relationship or you've been taking stock of, is it worth my time and energy? But it feels in this situation, then all of a sudden there is progress. You can see progress, growth. I don't see this as turning your back on a relationship. Uh, it's either you've been through some frustrating time for whatever reason, either in the relationship itself, that could be the tensions, or you've been struggling in terms of money, career, finances, and you've been competing, persevering to bring progress to your relationship here, something that affects your relationship. And it feels in this context, there's the beginnings, there's this first signs of success coming your way. And that's what I definitely get here. Be patient. There's the first signs of success coming your way. Interesting. Because the, the two of swords is lack of clarity. And this is the advice from spirit. You know, that this is, can sometimes be about decisions and choices, but it's also a card of I'm stuck, I don't see, I don't have the clarity. Um, you know, and therefore I'm feeling stuck. It's that kind of energy. And the star is don't worry, have faith. There will be reasons to be optimistic. You are on the right path. Um, this is a card of hope. There is definitely hope, even though you can't see it. Even though you feel stuck in a situation here, there is definitely hope. So interesting energy. I mean, this is the divine wish fulfillment, the blessings from God, the universe, the divine, the sense of renewal of self. Um, it's, it's, it's a card of calm, new growth, reasons to be hopeful. You, the path that you're on here, even though you're thinking, oh my goodness, is it worth it? Am I going to get the reward of my effort? Is it worth my time and energy? Whether it's in a relationship or whether it's, like I said, career finances, money that's affecting your relationship here. I don't see the way out of it here. I'm taking stock. Well, there's a message of something good is coming your way. Keep taking action. There could be some spontaneity here as a result of this. Um, some creative action that you're taking Capricorn you know to get noticed to bring the victory home it might well be for example and I'm not just saying it's just money and career but you go the extra mile you know to be recognized you know to to get your voice heard in this situation because the five of wands is the competition on trying to get noticed getting your voice heard as well if it's to do with competing for something Two of Pentacles is an energy of, it can be about juggling finances. It can also be a card of, even though something feels overwhelming, do what you do best. You know, this is a card of organize, being organized, prioritized. Even though something feels overwhelming, this is Jupiter in Capricorn and we have Jupiter here. So there's definitely this energy of good things want to come into your life. You know, you're doing the right things, the practical things. The message is stay grounded. Even though something feels overwhelming, you have everything that you need to deal with this situation and overcome it. So definitely an energy of prioritize uh, in this kind of energy. Because for some of you, there is good luck, good fortune, the change that's coming your way. Um, very good in terms of money and career, the, the wheel of fortune, or a turning point in a relationship for some of you. Um, 
being able to turn something around, something that has been challenging. It feels like you've taken stock. There may well be some spontaneity in a relationship. There may be some spontaneity in um, getting noticed in money career business. But there's definitely an energy. If there is, you will, you will be able to turn something around here. Um, good luck and good fortune, expansion, growth, prosperity await you. And it's connected with these kings. Yeah, so the king of, of swords is generally a kind of fair, honourable person doing the right thing, you know, by, for all concerned, uh, somebody in authority, somebody who gets clarity in terms of how to bring a turning point in their life. You know, he is the strategist, the visionary. So that might resonate for some of you as well. Maybe putting some kind of vision, getting clarity on how you need to move forward. I mean, the King of Wands can be a card of take the lead. Now is the time to be in your power, to bring growth, success, um, back on your throne kind of energy. You know, it's that kind of energy. There could be this, this, change your fortune it might well be with a person in your life i mean we've got air we've got aquarius we've got leo um could be somebody who represents those energies you know or one of those energies you know uh, and i definitely feel for some of you it could be to do with a person in your life it's to do with love romance relationships turning something around in a relationship with someone or it could well be somebody is of influence in bringing this good fortune. Remember, the King of Wands can be still the offer, the opportunity. Somebody could be somebody in business who is bringing some kind of offer, opportunity your way. Um, very much a card of success. And again, the King of Swords, Some it can well be somebody who is very... I mean, we have air energy overlapping here. You know, King of Swords is, is pure air and, you know, the King of Wands is fire and air. So it's that, that somebody who is razor sharp in terms of, of thinking, who is a real visionary, somebody who has grand visions, very good in terms of business and career as well here, um, who understands how to bring success into their lives. So it could well be that you're dealing with somebody of influence this week that is responsible for bringing good, the turning point, the good fortune. To your to your world but either way what is what you've been trying to manifest and i definitely get this energy of what you've been grappling with here there is good luck good fortune coming your way capricorn so it feels very very positive it's the turning point the shift and which is resulting in getting recognition and victory yeah coming through a difficult time either within a relationship or something that's affected your relationship it is a general reading after all so let's pull a final card yeah you see and this works beautifully with the seven of coins which is what i was saying there's this patience um we have tiger divine timing good things come to those that wait it's what i said about that card and it is coming the, the wheel is turning this is very much to do with fate destiny things happening when they're meant to happen and for some of you there's a message of don't worry have hope even though you feel stuck even though you don't have full clarity in the situation don't worry because something is going to shift so I hope you enjoyed the reading Capricorn. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.